Thank you, everyone. Uh, just a couple of minutes um, of a few updates from Karn. From Okay, uh, just to um, to emphasize this notion that we've been trying over the past couple of years really to be much more inclusive and much more democratic and broad in our reach. And, you know, to that end, we're doing the online events in, in the spring of every year. But to that end, also, we're kind of changing. We do have a, a little bit of a structure. We have a coordinating group and we are currently talking to people having put out a call generally to all our membership if they wanted to join our coordinating group without taking on some of the big roles but just as kind of like an associate member and we've had a really interesting response to that <coughs> and these are people who are from different parts of the world or involved in different types of research which maybe isn't getting the same profile and their role if you like will be kind of to, to promote action research within their own local areas and communities. And we'll also support them to run a study day if they wish, you know, to get that up and running. So it's a really useful opportunity for people uh, from different parts of the world to, to grow a local action research network and then to link into a bigger, more global community as well. So that's, that's really where we're at and our big focus at the moment is all as you'd expect us on the conference coming up now next month. So thank you, Jane, for preparing that. So, and thanks to Neary for having us today as well. Thank you. And I uh, see you'll be there, Jackie, and I think Marion, Jack, and a few people will be there as well. Brenda, will you be at Karen too? Oh, perfect. So lovely. Um, looking forward to meeting up again or for the first time with some of you. And can I just add now that Neri will be hosting a workshop there. So I hope everybody who's there will give us a call and give us a wave while you're there. Yeah, we're delighted at that. Thank you. Great. Um, and I know um, Marie now wants to give um, an update on the latest from eJobs. Um, Educational Journal of Living Theories, those people who don't know about it. Um, we publish uh, living educational theory research, which is professional practitioner educational research. Um, and I really like the strap line that we've now got, which we developed with a number of other um, organizations as well. There's a call for papers that I think should talk to many of you today about opening new frontiers of values led practice. So if you'd just like to have a, a look through, go on to ejolts.net. That's the URL, and you'll find the details there. We're giving a, a long run in. So if you look down, you see all we need at the moment is if you've got a working title, and that can change, but at least what you've got at the moment, you've got sort of some idea of a draft uh, abstract. It summarizes up a couple of hundred words. And if you let us know if you want any online support, because um, a lot of people are new to living education theory research. And we're really keen to support you and learn about living education theory research, actually in the process of doing it, rather than just reading about it. And you can see that there's people um, part of this, like Jackie DeLong, who's really keen and really, really knowledgeable about how to support you in that development. So if you actually want to um, send us that, and you're thinking, oh, I don't know what this is about. I'm not sure about that. Great. Um, Jack said this morning when we were running a, a session with some Indonesians that we, we, it's about feeling uncomfortable because it takes you to places of challenge and you then support you in that challenge. So please do have a look. Um, the advice for um, authors, we're trying to build this. So um, again, have a look on the site. 
um, we've given an outline as to what might be helpful to you in thinking about what needs to be covered in your uh, paper. Um, this is going to be developed uh, so it more, gives you more details about how this actually relates to looking at educational theory research. So if you just want it also, but just give you uh, other sources of information, support, material, you can have a look on Jack's website, actionresearch.net, and you'll find a wealth of material. If you can't find what you're looking for, please tell us. We're building up a resource as well from eJumps as well, that you can draw on that. So there's loads of support we're offering, and we'll be delighted if you want to take up our offer to actually develop. And if you have a look here on the living posters, you can start to see that you're part of a, a, a huge community that I think action research is part of. If you're concerned with a values-led practice that you're wanting to develop, to actually communicate that and to have an influence in the world, please have a look. Because you can see we've got here Neary's, we've got the, e, e, I can never remember all the, the anachronisms, and that, and that, and so have a look there. And you can see yourself. And if you're not there, then as Jack's already put into the uh, chat, please send us your post and we can add it to the, the Neary Network one. Um, and it will be grand to have others as well. So please do have a look. And this could be the start for your journey to actually being part of that wider community, that global community of people who are concerned about the values led research to make a systemic change which I think your first speaker was talking about when he was talking about the third space or the third um, aspect of that you, you want to address. Okay, so ejobs.net, action research, uh, which you should now be uh, very familiar with, .net, which is chats, get in touch. We really want to help and work with you. Thanks, Marie. Thank you so much for that. Thank you.